So are you ready for our, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes of spring here in the valley before we hit triple digit weather? I'm kidding, of course, but everyone knows this is one of the nicest times to be outside. Coincidentally, March is also Traumatic Brain Injury Awareness Month because of increased activities outside. We stopped at Las Vegas Fire and Rescue and spoke to a first responder about the devastating statistics and found out that if your sport involves wheels or almost any kind of contact, you need a helmet. Whenever Jacob Denon straps on his roller blades for hockey, he knows he'll also be strapping on his helmet. It's not only required by his coach and his parents, it's the smart thing to do. Without the helmet, he's vulnerable to a traumatic brain injury upon a fall, which by the way is one of the leading causes of death in kids 17 years and younger. Over 800,000 children go to the ER every year for traumatic brain injuries, um, where in almost 2,500 children die every year from it. So, and it's completely preventable. Um, you can put a helmet on your child. You can get helmets fairly cheap for 10 to $15. As a first responder, a parent of two very active sons and information officer with Las Vegas Fire and Rescue, Melanie knows the importance of not only wearing helmets, but making sure they fit correctly. If it's too big, it'll come off, it'll bounce or slide off because it doesn't fit tightly under the chin. And if it's too small, it sits up too high on the head and doesn't properly protect the front and the back lower section of the head. She demonstrates how to fit a helmet using her other active son, Logan. Two fingers right above their eyebrows and you want the helmet to come down to a minimum of that, if not more. You also want to make sure that it comes down and it covers the back of their head so that if they fall backwards, it's gonna hit here and not here because their helmet's not fitted properly. You also wanna make sure that when it's fitted, that the strap is tight enough so that they can swallow. It's gonna feel tight, but they should be able to swallow easily, but that it's not gonna bounce off their head should they fall down. Because kids will bounce, the helmet will come off and they'll bounce a second time. She says it's not just kids and athletes who are at risk of brain injuries. Another segment of our population that is vulnerable is seniors. With elderly, it's usually from trip and falls and, and they're more prone to, you know, uh, brain bleeds and whatnot. So, uh, you know, it's tra traumatic brain injury month. We need to, to worry about children wearing helmets, but older adults need to take um, trip hazards out of their homes. Uh, too many rugs, um, you know, uneven surfaces between carpeting and wood flooring, stuff like that. Even if a fall is not fatal, falls can lead to concussions, and one or multiple concussions can cause long-term damage to the brain. Here is an easy way to remember the signs and symptoms of a concussion. It's called HEADS, H-E-A-D-S, it's appropriate. So H is for um, headache or vomiting. Um, e is for uh, ears ringing, they'll get ringing in their ears. A is for like altered mental status or loss of consciousness. D can be dizziness or double vision. They can get blurred vision, double vision, dizziness. And S is something's just not right about them. You're talking to them, they may have slurred speech, they may not seem right, um, they seem dazed. As a first responder, Melanie knows the importance of protecting the brain and how a fun day at the park on a scooter can become a tragedy. As a parent, she knows the helmet discussion can be a challenge. But as she sees it, and you can help your kids see it as well, helmets can't be bad if some of the baddest people we know also wear them. If you look at any pro sport, they all have helmets. Baseball, football, hockey, any high impact sport, they're gonna have helmets on. And so, you know, if the pros are wearing them, we should be wearing them too. We can be like the Knights and we can be like the Raiders. We can be safe and we can wear helmets. Something very important to keep in mind, if you are with someone who has fallen or taken a hit to the head and they show any of those signs or symptoms, at the very least, they'll need to go to quick care, if not the emergency room.